As objects become hotter, two things happen to the light that they emit. The first is that they start emitting more light at every wavelength, at all the different colors at which that object emits, it gets brighter. The second thing that happens is that the peak of the emission shifts from the red all the way up through the blue. It goes on even further than that if they get hot enough. So in other words, the object changes color. You're a little bit familiar with this if you've ever used a Bunsen burner because the flame on your Bunsen burner was blue in the middle and it was red on the outside. And if you wanted your chemistry reaction to go fast, you stuck the bottom of the test tube down in the blue part of the flame because that's where the flame was hotter. And if you wanted the reaction to go slow, you stuck the bottom of the test tube in the red part of the flame because that's where the flame was cooler. I have here an incandescent bulb that I can use to demonstrate this same effect. Now I'm gonna point out that we have two cameras. One of those cameras is fitted with a filter that just filters out some of the light. So when you see the light bulb through that camera, it's gonna look fainter so that you can actually see the color better. But the other camera is gonna show you the change in brightness a little bit more clearly. So I'm gonna start by turning this giant dimmer switch uh, just a little bit so that there's a little bit of current running through the light bulb and we'll see that it lights up and we'll take a look at the color. So here the light bulb is barely lit and you can see that it's red orange. It's a very reddish color. This is almost exactly the color of Betelgeuse, one of the stars in the night sky. If I add more current so that the filament gets hotter and hotter and hotter, you can see that the red goes away and the color becomes dominated by yellow. If I continue on and I go past that point and I keep heating up the filament hotter and hotter and hotter, you can see it gets much, much brighter as it gets hotter, but then it also turns bluer as it gets hotter. Until here, this is as high as I can go with this particular light bulb. And you can see that the color of the light bulb is definitely bluish and it's extremely bright at this high temperature. So this is something that you should look for when you look at stars in the night sky. You should look up into the night sky and see that some stars are reddish, like Betelgeuse is reddish, and some stars are bluish, like Rigel, also in the constellation Orion. Stars are red or they're blue because they're different temperatures. So cooler stars around 2000 degrees Kelvin are redder or hotter stars around 10,000 degrees Kelvin or even hotter than that are bluer. And sometimes they emit even into the ultraviolet or into the X-ray when they're very, very hot. This might be a little bit confusing to you that hotter things are bluer and cooler things are redder. And that's because you're used to plumbing. In plumbing, what the plumbers do is they use blue for the cold tap and red for the hot tap. But that's just because of a physiological reaction of your body. So fair-skinned people, if they've been outside running around in the sunshine and they're all heated up, their skin turns bright red as the blood rushes to their skin. And then they can turn blue with cold in the wintertime when it gets really frigid. And so plumbers are responding to the human of your body and the way your body responds to hot and cold. And in science, and especially in astronomy, it's exactly the opposite. Blue things are hot and red things are cold.